Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to chapter 10 of this book, which deals with education. The main objectives of this chapter include 1. To identify opinions and supporting arguments. 2. To reflect on listening. 3. To use repetition for emphasis. And 4. To apply your collocations related to education in speaking. The vocabulary log of this chapter include words like Recognize Precious Issue Evaluate Assessment Falsify Subjective Standard Vague Mess around Eventually Accept Seminar And amazing Now you are going to listen to a radio commercial for a college After you listen, check the three topics that Ben and Mona mention Do they have the same opinion on the subject or not? Do you want to learn something new and improve your job possibilities? Are you looking for a degree program that will recognize all your unique life experience? Consider Westside College. We design programs around your busy life and, more importantly, give you credit for your life experience because you shouldn't have to waste precious time and money in unnecessary classes. We'll use our life and learning assessment to evaluate your experience. Based on this assessment, We'll be able to see how you can apply your experience to the requirements for your course of study. Call today and make an appointment to meet with one of our advisors. You won't regret it. Our number is... Do they really do that now? What? Give you credit in college for life experience. Yes, they do. Not all colleges and universities do, of course, but more and more are starting to do it. I think it makes a lot of sense. Really? Yes, don't you? Well, maybe, but I think there are a lot of issues around it. For example, how can they really evaluate your life experience? Like they said, they have an assessment. I think there are different ways they assess. Students often have to take a test to prove they have a certain level of knowledge. Some places also use something like a portfolio of previous learning. That's something that a student has to put together with examples and documentation to show that he or she has learned certain things. But couldn't something like that be falsified? It seems like it would be pretty easy to make some things up. Maybe, but I don't think it's as easy as you'd think. My aunt works at the community college. They accept life experience for credit, and she says that they're really strict in deciding who gets credit. The students have to put a lot into these portfolios of previous learning. It seems like it would be a lot of work to falsify something like that. It could be almost as much work as doing the class. I don't agree. It seems so subjective. How can you compare and evaluate different experiences? For example, what if one person has lots of work experience in computer programming and another person has a lot of experience in taking care of little children? Could you get credit for both experiences? And if so, would you get the same amount of credit, or what? Well, I doubt that two people like that would be trying to get the same amount of credit in exactly the same situation. You know, the standards for testing and evaluation for regular courses aren't completely objective either. There is always some level of subjectivity when teachers mark and give grades and things like that. Yes, but the system itself is pretty objective and it just seems a little unfair. It takes discipline to go to college. You have to attend, do the work, take exams, and pass classes in order to get credit. And then some people get around that with life experience. It seems like an easy way out to me. I don't know. Think about how many people say they didn't really learn anything in college. For many people, college is mainly social, and then they really start learning after they graduate from college. That was certainly true for me, and if you have to consider that people who enroll in college later in life are in a different situation, 
they've often had a lot of work experience and they usually don't have time to take every class from the beginning. That doesn't seem fair. I see your point, but it still seems vague and subjective to evaluate something like life experience and then give credit. <laughs> well, I guess it's a good thing neither one of us is considering going back to college. <laughs> yes, you're probably right. Okay, as you can see here, we have five topics. We have ways to evaluate life experience. We have standards for testing and evaluation. Kinds of teachers in college. Discipline needed to attend college. And college sports. The question is, what are the three topics that Ben and Mona mention? According to the audio track, the three topics mentioned were, number one, ways to evaluate life experience. Two, standards for testing and evaluation. Three, discipline needed to attend college. And kinds of teachers in college and college sports were among the topics which have not discussed, have not been discussed by Ben and Mona. Okay, the next question is, do they have the same opinion on the subject? The question or the answer is no. They do not have the same opinion, meaning that they disagree with each other, with each other. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much and see you next time, inshallah.